Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives, and this blade you see before you is the Marbles MR375. I've also seen it called the uh, Black Handle Marble Sword on Amazon. It's got a 22-inch blade with a nice stone wash on it. Now this is manufactured in El Salvador, okay, for marbles, possibly by Imacasa or a similar company. And this is going for around $20 on Amazon. Amazingly good price. I will include a link if you want to pick one up. This is a machete that's based on a sword. You see the handle there. It has a handguard. It's got a lanyard hole that's set kind of high on the handle. Right, and it's got that rear guard there. And the material, I believe, is polypropylene or a similar synthetic material, but it's a nice guard that'll keep you safe. Now this video is going to be both a review of the features and a cutting demo, okay? It will end it with a cutting demo, so stay tuned for that. And some size and shape comparisons to similar machetes. All right, that machete right there is another Marbles machete. That's MR374. Now they both have 22 inch blades, uh, but the one with wood handle scales, it's like the handle is about a quarter inch longer. And these are about the same price. Marbles is really, uh, they're giving the, the anti-zombie crowd, the backyard cutting crowd, what they want. I mean, these are great prices. And this machete is very similar to a cold steel machete. You see that there. That's the cold steel cutlass machete. The main difference is uh, the cold steel machete is a little bit heavier, a little bit sturdier. It's a bit longer in blade length. It doesn't have a rear guard on the handle. And you can see the tip of the cold steel machete has a clipped out portion. Okay, but nonetheless, very similar. Now you might be asking, so which one of these should I get? All of them, dude. I mean, at these prices, you could buy all three and it would still be far less than the cost of a real sword, you know? And if you just want to have some backyard fun, you know, you might not need a real sword, or maybe you want to practice before you get a real one. Speaking of Marbles products, I am very familiar with uh, Marbles blades. I will include links to the various reviews, okay, and the Amazon listings, but you got their Fireman's Axe, their Parang, uh, their two new machetes, that tiger stripe machete, and the fireman's shovel, which used to be called the devil's tail shovel. Now, marble stuff is good for the price, and keyword for the price, okay? It's not going to win any awards for, uh, you know, artistic collectability or anything, but if you want budget blades, you will get a lot of use out of these. Now, one thing I want you to know is that the wood they use for the handle scales on these it's kind of fragile. If you smash it against something, it's definitely prone to breakage, okay? Especially if you use it as like a throwing item. Like I use that shovel as a throwing item and it's great fun because the thing weighs about two pounds and it has so much edge, but yeah, the handles, they can break. What they call their fireman's ax is very useful for the price. It's really more of a brush ax or a brush clearing machete, but Great use for the price. Now, marble stuff doesn't usually come with a sheath, but you can buy sheaths separately. It is worth it to get the sheaths if you're going to use these when hiking, camping. You know, basically, if you're going past your backyard, the sheaths are actually useful. And the sheaths are pretty high quality. They got a lot of pockets for survival kits, so I'll include links on uh, where to purchase the sheaths. Now, as for this machete, which I'm just going to call the Marbles Cutlass Machete, it is extremely fast in hand. It's fairly light. It is very flexible, you know, as you would expect from a light machete. But if you're looking for a fun item or just a very inexpensive stand-in for a sword, uh, this will do. I mean, it's very attractive. It really was a very good idea for them to make this and I almost I'm scared to ask like how they got the price to be so low but I'm I'm definitely thankful that it is so how sharp does it come well it does come with an edge I mean it's not flat 
And if you just want to slash it soft vegetation, the edge is probably sufficient. But in order to do the demo that's coming up, I sharpened it. I sharpened it with a work sharp. The work sharp is perfect for something like this, okay? It's just fast and easy, so I'll include a link. Okay, the demo is coming up, and I will find some nice music to go with it. But before that, I just want to say I do highly recommend this item. And yeah, enjoy the demo. You're going to see it annihilate some containers. Enjoy. Enjoy.